Black Lives Matter is accusing L.A. police officers of using excessive force that resulted in the deaths of people they have stopped when responding to calls. Now, as Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell explains, the sister of one man who died after an encounter with police says the department should be held accountable. The family of 31-year-old Keenan Anderson gathered on the steps of Los Angeles City Hall Tuesday saying their loved one didn't have to die and that it's time to change the way we police. If you continue to blame the victim and not hold officers accountable, why would they ever stop killing us? People deserve to receive care, whether they're on the streets, whether they're in hospitals, whether they're in schools, and police officers have shown time and time again that they aren't the uh, professional agency to give care to human beings. Anderson's cousin is Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Cullors. Anderson was visiting Los Angeles on January 3rd when the LAPD responded to a traffic crash near Venice and Lincoln. Police say Anderson caused the crash, and when they arrived, he was found running in the middle of the street acting erratically. When Anderson resisted arrest, he was tased and taken into custody. After being transported to the hospital, which is protocol following the use of a taser, Anderson died at the hospital four hours after he arrived. LAPD Chief Michael Moore said Anderson had cocaine and cannabis in his system. Oscar Sanchez Oscar. and Takar Smith have also lost their lives this year during separate encounters with the LAPD. I don't want to witness the death of another black man, of another person at the hands of law enforcement and witness that video while being told that I should somehow see how it was justified. We do not respond to mental health calls with mental health care. We respond with guns. Black Lives Matter has asked that the use of tasers be restricted, that police no longer respond to traffic accidents, and that Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass not renew the contract of LAPD Chief Michael Moore. The LAPD is conducting its own investigation into the use of force, and the coroner is investigating whether it was the taser drugs or something else that caused Keenan Anderson's death. In downtown Los Angeles, Josh Haskell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.